a lot more relaxed, confident, so it means the world. How's that show up on the field now? Like that, 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 just, just being relaxed. Right. Yeah, I think it just slows everything down uh, from an uh, offensive like standpoint. I think well, I'm not thinking first. about the playbook too much as I have it yeah, memorized. Right. And then uh, you're more so able to, to focus on the details while playing. And it's just everything's moving slower. So overall, really cool. Mm -hmm. What's that? Uh, just be confident when you go out there. I mean, he's done a great job this year. He came in uh, in January, put his head down and worked. So. I just try to help, like anything that I went through last year, I try to, to give him uh, some, some tips on that. He's done a great job handling that. Right. I mean, it's just a huge adjustment going from, you know, living with your, your family to coming out here and living on your own. That in itself is uh, a lot to get used to and then add the football on top of it. I mean, he definitely has uh, a full plate, but he's done a really good job handling it. Kyle, describe your game as a quarterback. What do you do well out there? What do you what do you still want to work on the most? Uh, I think you know I, I do a lot. I'm not a very you know boastful type of guy, but I think I can I make any throw. I think I, I run the offense well. Uh, I make good decisions with the ball. But, I mean, overall, I think you know there's not really one area that I'd say you know I want to improve on. It's everything. You know, I don't think I'll ever be comfortable with you know one area and say you know I don't want to work on that. I can focus on something else. I think it's just the, the overall uh, my overall game. You know, just continue to get better. Yeah, I think it's it's definitely a marathon, not a sprint. And looking at it from you know the bigger picture, um, I think coming here, you realize how well you're coached by Coach Day, Coach Daniels, Coach Fitch. Um, so that was really important to me. And on top of that, I feel like, you know, just being here, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. And so, you know, I, I know that a lot of people thought, you know, I could have left and went somewhere else and tried to start this year. But, you know, in, in the long term, I thought it was the best decision for me to stay here and continue to get developed. Was there ever a time you were tempted? No. No, I was, I mean, during the season, I was just focused on the season and then I just let everything work itself out. So I was never really thinking about it, but I know a lot of people were trying to get the words on that. Wild to you all that you've been here 15 months. The nature of your position is that you can't get yeah. as much as Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. I mean, I'm still close with uh, Jack and Quinn. We talked about it. Just the, the talent in that room last year was unbelievable. And I think people are going to look back on that room in five, ten years and go, wow, you know, we had four really special guys. And so, um, you know, it definitely is crazy just the way everything played out. But I think it, you know, all played out in the right way. Kyle, as close as you guys are, but it had to still help you in some ways to narrow your focus, maybe, that Quinn and Jack aren't here? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I talked to them about it uh, during the season, and, you know, I think we were all on the same page that we are just going to compete every day, and so we weren't really worried about, you know, what was the, the off season going to look like. And then uh, when those two guys made their decisions to leave, I think it, it definitely kind of cleared up everything. But other than that, you know, I just told them, you know, go out there and compete, wish them the best of luck. But like I said, I think that was just an unbelievable time to I would have to think that maybe it's just me, maybe you don't feel this way, but the path looks a lot more clear now. There's no uncertainty about you know, maybe what will happen a year from now. Is that part of the comfort for you as well? Or? Um, you know, I think definitely if you look at it from, from that perspective, yeah, I think, you know, there's still a long way to go from now until next year, so I'm just focused on the present. But uh, when you look at the long-term picture, I, I guess you could say it clear itself up. you had the plan, yeah, it's night and day. It really is. Um, I think when you go through a full off season and then a full season and then another full off season, it's just you, you see things from a different perspective. And like I said earlier, I think just picking up on the like little details now is really the biggest thing. And I think that's where I've grown the most. The game's slowing down, so I think just a combination of all that, it's just a confidence boost when you step out there in the field. Your dad played college Right. Right. Growing up with him, it was probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. Having uh, a father that played Division One football as quarterback, and um, you know, he's helped me in every single area of my life. And I think the good thing uh, about him is I can, you know, turn around, talk to him, and just kind of bounce some ideas and see what he thinks. And he's always going to give me his honest feedback, whether it's you know something I want to hear or whether or not. But um, you know, he's definitely my biggest critic and my biggest fan. So having him in my corner is really good. Uh, what was the 
Wild. I, I mean, wasn't sure if CJ was going to play up until about Tuesday or, or Wednesday. And then when I got the green light, it was kind of like surreal almost knowing that, you know, I was a true freshman starting my first game. Um, but I think it kind of wore off around like Thursday, Friday, and then really had to, to lock in and focus. And, um, you know, it definitely was, looking back on it, it was a really cool experience. How much do you still think about that? Like in the grand scheme of the season, maybe people don't know the acronym, right. but you, that was your Yeah. I think that game was a great learning experience because you know you can practice and watch film all you want, but nothing is like the real deal when you step out there in the field. So just the amount of things that I learned, you know, starting one game, it's ridiculous. So I think that was just a, a great stepping stone helping.